Hey everyone, some of you might make fun of Kanye West, but I'll tell you what, Kim Kardashian West is his defender and soldier, and he's got a great wife because she comes from, that's right, Barbara Kardashian, a famous lawyer from the OJ trial, not, not a famous, the famous lawyer from the OJ trial, and it's obvious when you study the law behind this action that the Kardashians clearly thought out what they were doing before they took the action of, first of all, recording the phone conversation between Kanye West, Kim's husband, and Taylor Swift, which was said to have occurred before the 2015 MTV VMAs, Video Music Awards, where Kanye was going over the lyrics of his song Famous with her on speakerphone, and she was recorded exchanging niceties with him, how much she liked the lyrics, how supportive she was, how happy that they were friends, that their relationship was on the mend, everything else. Now, then the video is released of the conversation and Taylor Wiss goes ape, her attorneys go nuts, and the idea is, okay, under California, I believe this didn't happen in California, California section 632 of the penal code, it's said to be against the law to record what is thought to be a, co a private phone conversation, or even in public if it's a phone conversation. But there's a massive catch. The law allows for the use of that recorded conversation to come into play if you are trying to say that someone is lying about you. Okay, and that is the perfect. And I, and I, and I'm giving you the colloquial version of the legal lease, but this is the perfect situation for that because even though Taylor Swift told Kanye West on the phone, hey, you know, I'm gonna be at the Grammys, I'm gonna get the award, interesting she knew that, and I'm going to say, uh, regarding any questions about Famous, he called me. And she didn't say that. Instead, she indirectly referred to him as someone trying to take advantage of her fame. <laughs> and didn't say anything about their conversation, didn't explain that she was actually upset about being called a bitch in the lyrics, didn't explain that that's not what they talked about. She didn't say anything like that at all. Instead, she sought to defame Kanye West's character, okay? And so, Kim Kardashian, on, on that basis alone, was right in taking the action that she did. It was brilliant law, brilliant legal strategy. Something else, too. Some of you might be saying that to prove defamation or character when you're talking about celebrities requires the hurdle of a high bar. That's true. But the high bar that you have to hurdle is you have to actually prove that there was a malicious intent. They did that. They did that. Because they have her saying she's going to do one thing at the Grammys, and then she actually did not. It doesn't matter that she was under the impression that maybe one part of the lyrics was going to be changed or different or maybe something that she wasn't calling and not only that suppose that suppose kim kardashian west has a copy of a video that wasn't put in of that word being mentioned that maybe didn't come into play because it was long we don't we don't know yet okay i don't know that this is the you know, I, I haven't seen the whole deal yet i don't know if there was a part that was edited my point is suppose that video is out there then Taylor's got another problem in that she's runs the risk of being look of looking like someone who is disingenuous twice, well, technically three times. Okay, so wow, I mean they have just lowered the boom on Taylor. Twitter and social media have lowered the boom on Taylor Swift. This is something else, and to be continued.